It's been another big day at our house. Sure has, Billy. We've done all sorts of fun things, haven't we, Bingo? We bathed from the trampoline. Yeah, that was fun. Then we ate a really yummy lunch. My favourite. Look at what we had. Vegemite toast. Apple. Blueberry. Tomato. And cheese. <laughs> Look how fast we ate it up. Ready, set, go! After lunch, we played bubbles. Space bubble from the planet Bubble Tron. The, the bubbles, bubbles are, are coming, coming for us. Watch out, Blowy! They're gonna get you, Bingo. I am queen of the bubbles. Bubble magic. Bubble blaster. Ah, oh, they got me. Then we did some art and craft. I stuck all these gems on. And the pipe cleaners, so beautiful. I helped her, I put some glitter on and some ribbons. That's a big morning, but that's not all we did. We also played the companion. Oh yeah, that was fun. Look at me go. Great job, Bingo. I'm getting better. I can play with two hands. Watch me. It's not easy, but I've been practising. Awesome, that's great, Bluey. Oh, and we also play dress up cubby houses. The dragon is coming. We should hide in our castle. Why don't we fight the dragon? Fight the dragon? That's a great idea. <laughs> Great idea, Bingo. Let's do it. We're strong girls. That dragon won't know what's coming. Charge! Charge! After all that, I'm ready for nap time. Me too. Do you want me to tell you a story, Bingo? Yes, please. First of all, we have to go to the Dream Beach. Do you remember the Dream Beach? Let me tell you all about it. The Dream Beach is where the stories are, Bingo. You look down and you have no shoes on. Just bare feet. The sand is warm on your feet and the sun is shining. You feel happy and relaxed. You look down at the sand and you see that there is lots of tiny little glowing rocks. They sparkle in the sunlight. You bend down and you pick up a green rock. Once upon a time, a little boy lived in the forest. Every day he would walk to the bottom of the garden. The grass rustled under his feet. and the sun shone through the leaves of the trees. At the bottom of the garden, there was a strawberry plant. The little boy would carefully pick strawberries, wrapping them up to take them back to the house. Every night when the little boy went to bed, he knew what would happen. While he slept, something magical happened in the kitchen. The strawberries from the garden were glittering and glowing. And when he woke up every morning, there was a delicious strawberry pie. It was sweet and juicy and tasted delicious. The strawberry pie appeared every morning. And every day the little boy would pick more strawberries. And he was very happy. One morning, the little boy woke up and go downstairs. But there was no pie. He looked at the strawberries still sitting in the kitchen. Where was his pie? The next morning, the same thing. No pie. 
the little boy decided to stay up through the night to see what was happening. He stayed up right past his bedtime. The sun went down and the moon came up. From the window of his bedroom, he watched the bottom of the garden, looking at the strawberry plant. Suddenly, he saw a red glittering and glowing at the strawberry plant. Something magical was happening there. But then he heard a sad howl come from the forest and everything stopped. Howl! I have to find out what is going on, thought the boy. Maybe someone needs my help. He walked into the garden, carefully finding his way by moonlight down to the strawberry plant. The moon shone brightly and the stars twinkled. When he got to the strawberry plant, he sat down and waited. Soon enough, a magical glittering began in the strawberry plant. Something was glowing in the leaves. Suddenly, he heard the sad howl from the forest again. And the glittering stopped. It happened again. And glittering and twinkling began. But then the sad howl came again and everything stopped. He went closer to the strawberry plant and looked deep among the leaves. And then he saw them. Tiny red strawberry fairies. They were holding onto the leaves, looking very frightened. Hello. Who are you? Said the little boy. We are the strawberry fairies. We make delicious strawberries. Using magic. And moonlight. Our strawberries are so magic that they turn into the pie that he loves so much. But we are frightened of that sad sound. The little boy stood up. Oh, then I will find out what the sound is. I don't need to be afraid. The little boy went into the forest. It didn't take long for him to find the sad sound. There's some leaves at the bottom of the tree he found the mummy wombat and two little babies. The mummy wombat was sad. What is wrong? asked the little boy. My babies are hungry, said the mummy. Can you help us? Do you like strawberries? asked the little boy. They are our favourite said the mummy. Come with me, said the little boy. The little boy took the mummies and the babies back to the garden. He spoke to the strawberry fairies. There's no need to be afraid anymore. The sound from the forest was these wombats. They are hungry and they need looking after. The strawberry fairies glowed happily. Well, we can help, 
That night, the strawberry fairies made magic all night. They made the most delicious strawberries that have ever been made. The little boy took the wombats into the house and wrapped them in a soft blanket. The next morning, there was a big strawberry Baha'i on the kitchen table. The magic was back. The boy and the wombats ate the strawberry pie. And the wombats lived with the boy from then on. They became best friends. And sometimes the fairies would even come up to the house for a tea party. Good night, Bingo. Good night, Bluey. Shh, shh, shh. Off to sleep now. Shh. Go to sleep now.